I miss cooking, food, cleaning, washing up, going to the shops, going with my mum to like doctor's visits, making sure sort of everything was in order in the house. I started off looking after my mum, who had a slip disc and a pacemaker fitted, so she was unable to work. And then my stepdad had an aortic valve replacement sort of four years ago. That went wrong, and then he recently had another valve replacement. Juggling, caring and school was stressful, especially during GCSEs. You'd have to make sure you got everything done at home before you could go and revise or before you could do homework. I couldn't go out for like to the cinema and stuff at the weekend because we didn't have the money or I had to go do other things. And um, so people found it odd that like I had to stay home, um, like look after my family. To learn about young carers, it was a bit of like a relief that I wasn't alone and that it was like an actual thing. Like it wasn't just me in this weird situation. I've managed to like talk on radio, talk on in newspapers about being a young carer, about how it's changed my life. I'm definitely more confident talking about my situation, about young carers in general. Like I know some amazing young carers, some amazing people. When I look into the future, I see things are going upwards, that my own confidence has increased. I'm gonna I'm doing a degree in something I love. Things are happening that are positive for young carers and that I know have helped me and will help other people. So I just want to keep them happening. If there are any young carers out there, I want them to know that they're not alone, that there are others out there like them, and that there are people around them who will help and who won't judge and who will just do everything to get them to their goals, to get them to what they need to be and what they want to be.